Hello, my name is Cameron Green, and I have made a ePortfolio website for my education class. My name is Cameron Green. I'm a full-time college student, and I have a puppy named Clyde. I've always wanted to become an elementary teacher because my aunt was mine growing up, and she was my biggest role model. She sadly passed away. I knew it was my duty to carry on her legacy. I hope to be as important to my students as my aunt was to me. My post-professional. My education philosophy. As many of my fellow pre-service teachers, I love being with kids and influencing their lives. And I'd love to be a part of shaping the future generation. For various reasons, Many teachers strive to become educators, especially when they get to witness the aha moments that their students have and watch the progression that they have made. I have attached my PDF resume. I currently am unemployed, but I did work at Jack and Joe Daycare in Walmart. Um, the assessments. The pre-assessment website that I chose is one that we all know, Google Docs. By using Google Docs, it's a super simple way to just get an idea of what students know about the subject before giving them a test. If they are not familiar with it, you as a teacher need to talk to them more about it in depth with the students as a whole or even with the student one-on-one. -on -one. The formative assessment that, that I chose is quizzes. Currently, my teacher uses it now, and it's a very easy way to see, see how students are taking the information and the students that are not doing well on it, and the teacher can then see what kind of action needs to be taken. The second formative assessment that I chose is Kahoot. I played this game in my elementary classes, and it was really beneficial. The educator has full access to the game, meaning they can make the game in any kind of way that they want and that will be useful to the classroom. It's a super fun game for the students to play as a whole or even one-on-one. -on -one. The teacher can then what, see what students are struggling in this subject and who are not. Summative assessment. For the summative assessment, I think teachers could use is portfolios for the end of the year. Currently, my teacher has the speaking portfolio assistant, and it has really benefited me. I can see what I have learned about the learning that the teacher has taught, it, taught us. I have documented what I have and have not learned so that I can know what lessons to be more aware of and focus on more. For the second summative assessment that I chose is making a final project. What is great about a final project is teachers, no matter what grade, could use this tool. There are so many different options and opportunities a teacher could choose from. Assistive Technologies the first assistive technology that I chose is Google Voice Search. It's a simple way for students and teachers to look up something that they need to with their voice. If a student has difficulty typing, Google Voice Search is an easy way for them to look up their question without having to type it. The next, next assistive technology that I chose is Speech Texture. Not only does it let you speak into the microphone instead of typing, it offers a multi-language speak recognizer as well. The best part about it is that it's free. The last assistive technology that I chose is Murph AI. Murph AI text-to-speech platform empowers you to do more than simply convert text-to-speech to create engaging Studio quality, voice of a voice for different use cases. Text-to-speech. 
The first text-to-speech website that I chose is Natural Reader. It's perfect for students, for example, who have, who have a paper that they need to proofread but don't feel like reading it and can just paste it into the app and it'll read it for them. The second text-to-speech website that I chose is TTS Reader, which is a free text-to-speech reader that supports all modern browsers, including Chrome, Firefox, and Safari. The last text-to-speech website that I chose is VoiceMaker. It uses an AI generator to generate realistic and natural-sounding voices not sounding like robots has a thousand plus AI voices in 130 different languages. Additional assistive technology resources for teachers. The first assistive technology for teachers website that I chose is Teacher Vision. This is a great app for teachers to use from thousands of lesson plans and worksheets from all ranges of K through 12. Teachers get stressed out too, so what I love about this app it is, is that it has a page where teachers can rent or buy a book to take care of themselves as well. The second assistive technology for teachers website that I chose is We Are Teachers. This app says on average, teachers spend about $479 of their own money on classroom supplies. This site is always on the lookout for free printables, etc. for teachers. The last assistive technology for teachers website that I chose is Udopia. This website aims to improve education and help students and teachers through the learning progress. There are videos and articles on teacher development, technology interrogation, classroom management, assessments, and more. Classroom management. Classroom rules. Be kind to everyone. Work hard. Raise your hand to speak. Do your best. Treat others with respect. Believe in yourself. Be honest and responsible. Listen and follow directions. Be ready to learn. Procedures. These are the procedures that I chose for my classroom. And here's the chart of consequences I have for the students that misbehave in the classroom. Thank you for watching.